The topic of this video is dividing polynomials using polynomial long division. Let's look at a problem. Divide a polynomial 2x to the fifth minus 9x cubed minus 8x squared minus 8x minus 8 divided by the polynomial x squared plus 1. Okay, so the first thing we want to understand is division is kind of like a fraction. If someone says 2 divided by 3, that's equivalent to the fraction 2 thirds. So therefore, this is our numerator, and this is our denominator. So when we go to set up our problem in long division form, we want our denominator on the outside, and we want our numerator underneath the division bar. So let's set up our problem. We've got 2x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth minus 9x to the third minus 8x squared minus 8x minus 8 underneath the division bar, and outside the division bar, we have this x squared plus 1. Now you might have noticed that when I wrote the numerator, I put in a 0x to the fourth. Why did I do that? Well, because polynomial long division requires you to have a column for all types of terms that you might encounter while creating your solution. So if you skip a term, like we do in this problem, going from an exponent of 5 to 3, we skipped right over the 4, then you need to put uh, the missing term with a coefficient of 0 in your long division problem. Uh, another place that you might put a 0 would be at the end. So for example, if your original numerator just stopped here with the minus 8x, then you would need to put a plus 0 after it so that there is space for a, a number term in your problem. Okay, great. So now we're going to set up our columns. So just to the left of all of the adding and subtracting symbols in our numerator, we're going to put a vertical column. And then we will label each column so that we know what kind of term goes in each one. So this first column is going to be our x to the fifth column, then our x to the fourth, then our x cubed, x squared, x, and then finally our number column at the far right. Okay, great. Now that we have set up our problem, we're ready to begin our polynomial long division. Let's go ahead and do that. So we take the first term of the lowest under and divide it by the first term of the denominator. We'll do that in our side workspace. So in our side workspace, we write 2x to the fifth divided by x squared. Well, that's equal to 2x cubed. And this is the first piece of our answer. This is the first piece of our quotient. So we put it above the division bar in the appropriate column. The variable part of 2x cubed is x cubed, so it goes in the x cubed column. We get 2x cubed. The next step of polynomial long division is to take the newest term from your quotient and divide it by your entire denominator. So we're multiplying this by the x squared plus 1. When we distribute, this gives us 2x to the fifth plus 2x to the third. This goes beneath the lowest under in the appropriate columns. 2x to the fifth goes into the x to the fifth column, and 2x to the third goes in the x cubed column. Next, draw the line, change the sign, then combine. So we draw the line underlining the most recently placed terms in our problem. We change the sign of both of those terms. And then we combine vertically. All right, so 2x to the fifth combined with negative 2x to the fifth makes 0. 0x zero to the fourth plus no more x to the fourth is 0 and negative 9x cubed minus another 2x cubed is negative 11x cubed. Next, bring down all terms of the original numerator that have not been changed. We have three of those to bring down. So then we have our minus 8x squared minus 8x minus 8. Okay. The exponent, the highest exponent of the lowest under is 3. The highest exponent of the original denominator is 2. Is 3 less than 2? No. So then we keep going and we repeat the steps for polynomial long division. We begin again. 
the first term of the lowest under divided by the first term of the denominator. So we have negative 11 x cubed divided by 2 x to the fifth. That's not true, I'm so sorry. Divided by x squared. Negative 11 x cubed is the first term of the lowest under divided by the first term of the denominator. So negative 11 x cubed divided by x squared. This is going to give the result negative 11 x. This is the second piece of the quotient. It goes above the division bar in the x column because the variable part is x. So minus 11 x. Next, we take this and we multiply it by the entire denominator, x squared plus 1, using the distributive property. And we get negative 11 x cubed minus 11 x. This result goes beneath the lowest under in the appropriate columns. The negative 11 x cubed goes in the x cubed column, and the negative 11 x goes in the x column. Next, draw the line, change the sign, then combine. Well, it's really easy to turn a subtract into an add. We'll just put a little vertical part on top of our minus to turn it into a plus. Now combine vertically. Negative 11x cubed plus 11x cubed makes 0. Negative 8x squared combined with nothing is still a negative 8x squared. Minus 8x plus 11x makes plus 3x. Next. Bring down all terms from your original numerator that have not been changed. So that would be this minus 8. Now compare exponents. The largest exponent of the lowest under is 2, and the largest exponent of the original denominator is 2. Is 2 less than 2? No, so we keep going. All right, one final pass. The first term of the lowest under divided by the first term of the denominator. So we have negative 8x squared divided by x squared, which gives the result negative 8. This is the third piece of the quotient. And it goes above the division bar in the number column. Subtract 8. Next. Take this newest piece of our quotient and multiply it by the entire denominator, which is x squared plus 1. Using the distributive property, we get negative 8x squared minus 8. This goes beneath the lowest under in the appropriate columns. So negative 8x squared goes under the x squared column, and negative 8 goes in the number column. Next, draw the line, change the sign, then combine. So I draw the line, I change both of these minuses to pluses, and then I combine vertically. All right, so negative 8x squared plus 8x squared is 0. 3x combined with nothing is still a 3x, and negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Okay, the biggest exponent of the lowest under is 1. This is 3x to the first power. The biggest exponent of the original denominator is 2. Is 1 less than 2? Yes, so we can finally stop, and this is our remainder. It's what's left over. And of course, 3x plus 0 is simply 3x. So this is our remainder. And this up here is our quotient. And x squared plus 1 was our original denominator. We can use these three things to create our final answer for this problem. The final answer of a polynomial long division problem is written by expressing the quotient plus the remainder over the original denominator.
And so we get 2x cubed minus 11x minus 8, which is our quotient, plus our remainder, which is 3x, divided by our denominator, which is x squared plus 1. This is the answer to our polynomial long division problem.